come to my motel Slide you the key, baby, don't tell Hey, you guys, what's good? You wanna do? It's your girl, every motherfucking suit, and I'm back with. Oh, wait. I haven't done a story time in so long. Hold on. Hey, you guys, what's good? You wanna do? It's your girl, every motherfucking suit, and don't. I have a story time to tell you. I ain't do a story time in mad long. I'm kind of hyped to do this one. I posted on my Instagram and I asked everybody what kind of videos they want to see. And a friend of mine commented and was like, You should do a story time about the time you got robbed. And they put a gun to your head. And I'm like, that's a good one because i forgot about that so i'm gonna do that today i know it sounds bad y'all but it's not that bad it's not as bad as it sounds but i'm gonna get into the story i'm gonna get into the story so this happened when i was 17. <laughs> 17. i'm gonna tell y'all what happened okay so when i was 17 i was in high school i was broke i needed money and my mother helped me get a job right so um i'm not gonna say where at this but it's a big franchise though okay so keep that in mind um yeah so my first day i got there and i was training they was training me or whatever telling me like showing me how to do the stuff and i remember thinking like this is mad boring this is mad boring like I'm not staying here. Are you dumb? Like, I'm not staying here. I'm not jacking this work stuff. Nope. But I was like, yeah, this is boring. Like, I don't like this. But I came back the next day. And the next day. And the next day. And the next day. Even if I have to come back tomorrow. And the next day. 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 Nah, but I came back. And they had me um, working at the front or whatever. And I was working at the front for mad long. Um, so, like, my fifth day there, um, the lady, the manager, she mad cool. The manager, she was like, you going to drive through? You going to the drive through? Cause she was like, "Oh, you fast. You going to the drive through?" So I'm like, "Okay." So it was a Sunday. This particular day, it was a Sunday, and it was like, it was mad early. It was like nine o'clock. All the church folks was coming in, getting their stuff. So it was mad packed. It was mad busy, and um. The manager came and she was like, she was like, y'all line is slow. Like y'all drive through line is slow. Y'all need to pick it up or whatever. And this dude at the front, he walked over to us and he was like, he said to the manager, he was like, we're getting robbed. Like he said this in literally like the calmest voice ever though. It was like, <laughs> I me me could have never but like we were so busy trying to make the drive through line go like mad fast that we didn't even pay him no mind so he was just like we're getting robbed <laughs> by the time he said that the robber already walked over to the drive through where i'm at now mind you remember this the whole time i was there i was at the front so today, the day we get robbed, I'm at the drive-thru. So I'm just like, I'm happy I wasn't there because the, the footage, the man had his gun waving it at shorty face, the shorty that was in the front. And I'm like, I'm glad that wasn't me. Right? Because that was bad. It was bad because it was like mad close to her face, like mad close to her face but he walked over to the drive through and he like give me the money and i'm standing there like <laughs> nah like this is my fifth day like i was shook i was shook <laughs> so he like give me the money 
uh, 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 this, then the third, the manager walked, opened the register so he could get the money. But she was taking OD long, right? So he waving his gun around in my face like this. And he could tell, like, I was type scared. Like, I was type scared. So I was moving like this. And everywhere I moved, he followed with his gun, waving it in my face. So I'm like, and here he was doing this. He... he I was scared. I was scared. So I went behind. I went behind the shorty. Like I stood behind her, and I kept doing this while she was in front of me. And I'm like, nah, like I'm not getting shot. Not today. So the manager gave the robber the money or whatever, and then um, then he left. So then she had to call the police. And then we had to lock down the whole store. We probably locked down for like three hours. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I know I should call my mother, but I just got this job and I don't want to freak her out. I don't want her to come up here and I don't want her to freak out because I kind of need this job right now, right? So I decided I'm going to wait till my shift is over to call my mom. So we sit in there, everybody's sitting there. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. When the dude came to the drive-thru, one of my co-workers jumped through the drive-thru window. The drive-thru window. Dude is like six feet tall. Six two. Imagine a six foot two nigga jumping through a small ass drive-thru window. I was done. Like, we was not, he was not having it. He was like, nope. Alright, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> He was not playing that, and I don't blame him. I really don't. People was mad. Like, other co-workers was mad. Why am I talking like this? Why am I stumbling on my words? Other co-workers was mad that he did that, but I'm like, shoot. I wish I had thought of that instead of here ducking. <laughs> but, yeah, so we was um in the lobby for about three hours, and we still got paid, of course. And... Yeah, then we opened back up, and I just waited till my shift was over to tell my mom what happened. Like, when she came and picked me up, and she was like, what? Why didn't you call me? And I'm like, I don't know what I said. I forgot what I said. But um, she was like, are you going to stay there? Are you planning on staying there, or are you getting a new job? And I'm like, I think I'm going to stay. <laughs> I think I'm going to stay. And I was telling everybody... And everybody was like, yo, that's crazy. Like, that's crazy. I'm like, yo, that is crazy. That's some crazy shit. This is only like, I don't know. This is only my third day out here. Yeah. yeah. It's only my third day out here. I don't know. Yeah. So I ended up staying. And um, a month later, we got robbed again. And it was bad because um, the dude looked mad dumb. How you gonna rob a store? With a surgical mask on. Like, we could see your eyes. We could see your eyes, sir. You have a surgical mask on. But, you know, by then, I just figured, like, you know, ain't nothing. Just give up the money. And they gonna leave. And then we got robbed again. <clears throat> Whole nother story. Dude left his um credit card on the table. Leaves his credit card on the table. What? <laughs> <laughs> By this time, I'm just like, okay, these people don't want to shoot nobody, they don't want to kill nobody, they just want their little money and get up out of here, even though they're going to jail. You're going to jail because we know who you are. Like, people are just dumb. People are just dumb. This story time isn't long. I just wanted to share that. But, um, if you ever end up in a situation like that, don't try to be a hero. That's my number one tip. Don't try to be a hero. Don't try to do none of that. Because it's not your money. And you're still going to get paid. Just give them the money. Give them the money. Like, I promise you, they don't want to kill you. They just want the money. That's it. And that's all. I'm sorry. I thought this, like, was going to be a little bit longer. But, um, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace. Bye. Baby,
Won't you come to my motel? If you're mad, mad, baby, oh, oh, oh.